Hi, I'm Dr. Nick, and this is an example of teaching a whole class how to make and interpret graphs using Dragonistics data cards. This is an exercise making graphs, and we're going to get each group of children to make a graph of the same thing using different sets of dragons, and it has some interesting lessons about inference, even though you may not be calling it that. So in this we give each set of children about the, oh, well, the same number of cards, so in this case we're going to do 10 because there's not much room here. And our question today is what breath type do we have? So my assistant Will and I are going to sort out our dragons according to breath type and make graphs out of them using the cards. So, um, and there's some interesting things here because I'm doing it in a certain order and Will's doing it in a different order, and that's fine because that's going to be quite useful in terms of discussion. So you can see here, breath types. <laughs> right, okay, so what can we see? I've got two each of fire, acid and ice, and he's got one acid, but two of ice and two of fire and quite a lot of zero, and I've got a lot of zero too. It's actually really close, but they will get different ones. And so what you do then is get them reporting back. So you've got the reading the graph level where you say, I have one dragon, or Will would say, I have one dragon that breathes acid, and I would say, I have two dragons that breathe acid. And then you've got the, com the reading within the graph idea. So you could say, the most common kind of breath type in my dragons is um, nothing. And Will would say the same thing, the most common type of breath type in his dragons is nothing as well. And so you could get the different groups to look at them. Now another thing that would come up would be this idea of ordering them, because if we had them all in the same order, then it might be easier to see what's happening between the different groups. So the children might decide on a, a good order, which might be fire, acid, ice and nothing, because that's sort of going from the most dangerous. Can you move your nothings over Will? Fire, acid, ice, and nothing. So there, it's sort of easier at a glance to see how the two graphs differ. And there's quite a lot of other things you can look at, but one thing that's quite cool is that they will see that the different graphs are, none of them are exactly the same. Well, there may be some exactly the same, but they won't all be the same, but there'll be some tendencies that come out. They might notice that the red ones tend to breathe fire and acid, and that the green ones tend to breathe nothing, or ice, and they could look around and see and, and wonder if that's the same between them. And that could go to a more sophisticated analysis. There's so much you can do with these in terms of graphing and, and exploring and communicating.